Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so the first message we have here is God is up to something. Okay. I just got things are beginning to get really weird. Okay. And when this card comes out, there's usually a heavy spiritual undertone to this connection that I'm tapping into. Divine Feminine, there's a masculine in your energy field who's really been going back and forth about reconnecting with you. And this is someone who, it's almost like their energy is coming through as someone who wasn't really aware of the spiritual nature of your connection. So they may have been very, very skeptical. They may have second guessed a lot of what was shown to them about you. And it's like no matter how direct the sign was, they never made the direct connection to you. And they were always being sent signs about you. So they would see your birth date, maybe they would hear your name, certain songs or just movies that resonate with you and other things that are very, very specific to this journey. I'm also getting 1111 very clearly. So maybe this was a common number synchronicity that crosses their path when they're thinking of you. But they literally completely overlooked all of this, okay? But what's interesting about all of this is that they're currently experiencing something that's unlike anything that they've ever been through before as it pertains to receiving signs. There's a very bold, powerful energy coming through with this card here, but I keep getting the word weird. So if your person could describe what's happening to them, they would tell you that there has been a very weird series of events taking place. So this has been unfolding over the past couple of weeks. I'm also getting something here about timelines as well. So this could be tied to their personal journey outside of this connection. Maybe this is pointing to their history in some way. So to them, it kind of feels like all of these timelines are kind of merging together where they may be receiving messages about the past, the present, and the future all at once, okay? And they don't really understand why or how this is happening. But I'm getting clearly that there is something that God wants your person to understand about you. And it has to come to them in this way so that they will never second guess you or this connection again, okay? I'm even picking up on an underlying energy of nervousness here because your person is sure that God is speaking directly to them. But there's something about the way this message is coming through, okay? Or these messages that feels very, very weird or very strange to your person, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, I have so many questions. Yeah. It's almost as if your person has this gut feeling that you know more about what's going on with them than they do. And they know this because there was a moment in time in your connection, Divine Feminine, where you were way more expressive about these types of things or just the more spiritual aspect of your connection. But I'm getting that that's changed recently. And maybe you keep these things to yourself because of the way that your person would respond to you when you try to share these things with them. But now the tables have turned in a way. And it's like you're the only person that they can think of to share these series of events with. But because of how they handled you in the past, when these type of topics would come up, they're not sure how open-minded you'll be about all of this right now. Because although they do want to share this with you, they don't know how you'll take it. And honestly, they don't even know if you'll believe them. 
So this could be something that may shock you as well, even though you are more spiritually inclined than them. Because this is something that's totally out of their element. And it's touching them in a very emotional way, okay? It's making them want to question you, Divine Feminine. And I feel like they want to question you because they want to see if you've had a similar experience. Maybe they just want to vent. But this definitely feels like one of those situations in life where the minute it happens, you know that no one is going to believe you, okay? Unless they've had an identical experience. So if you're wondering how your person is currently feeling, they really feel like God is up to something because there's some really weird things happening to them and they wanna either tell you or ask you about it because you've shown them over time that you're kinda of open to this type of stuff. So this may be something very spiritual. This may be something that you know they can't really take to anyone else or they don't really feel comfortable sharing with anyone else. But you've shown them at some point of your journey that you're not really a judgmental person, okay? But this is, it is making them stop and consider how open-minded you actually are, especially at this stage of your connection, okay? Because I feel like you've already been there with them. And this is making them a little hesitant as it pertains to approaching you. But at the same time, it's making them very, very curious so not only are they kind of questioning themselves, but they also want to question you, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, everyone knows the truth about us. Oh, wow. There's a very, very intense energy coming through with that card there, okay? If you're resonating with this message so far, your person is realizing that God has always been speaking to them through other people, specifically feminine energies. The power of this connection is being reflected to your person by their experiences with other feminine energies, okay? And this is tied to their past, their present, and their future. If they can describe this to you, they will tell you that it's like other feminine energies can sense your energy. And I hope this is coming across clearly, okay? Because the energy is a bit scattered. But it feels like there's been this timeline shift or this merge where they can see that everyone they have been with romantically are somehow aware of you, okay? <laughs> this message may be very, very specific here. And this may sound a little bit out there, okay? But I'm, I'm just gonna say it. They feel that every single person they have ever come in contact with somehow already knows about you, Divine Feminine, okay? But the weird part is that these people could never identify you physically, only by way of your energy. Your person is experiencing something very powerful at this time. And it's this underlying energy that many twin flames carry with them before they permanently align with their divine counterpart. It's this energy of always wondering if something is missing, okay? Your person has always questioned if they were truly in the right place because something just never really felt quite right to them, especially when they were in other connections. And it's this deep knowing that they were carrying with them, that they were already spoken for, and that there are pieces of them that they could never really show or things that they could never really express because all of that was being reserved for someone. And that someone is you, Divine Feminine. Your masculine is realizing the reason it never worked out with anyone else is because when you are in a twin flame connection, as weird as it sounds, everyone somehow knows the truth about you from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. The energy is so powerful that it's really hard to disguise who you really are. And this information is hitting your person like a ton of bricks at this time, okay? They may be having flashbacks or recalling certain moments in time where things just really didn't make sense to them, when they were kind of trying to force connections to work that were in reality never really meant to work in the first place. 
And in a weird way, they really feel that other feminine energies that they were attached to somehow knew, whether this was consciously or subconsciously, that they were created for a different experience in love. I feel like this is definitely giving them a higher perspective on how they actually manifested you into their lives in the first place. This is someone who is realizing that they had to be completely honest about who they are and what they really desire in a partner. And there's a really authentic energy coming through with this reading here because God is showing your person that this whole thing is divinely orchestrated. And although it may have taken them, you know, time and experience to align with you, they subconsciously were still searching, okay? Their heart always felt like you were still out there, okay? I'm picking up on just a very, a connection that was not easy, a connection that has not been easy, okay? And your person had a really hard time admitting this because they were living by a totally different set of rules. They also thought that they were doing things the right way. So this may have been on your person's mind and their hearts for a while now. But what's really coming through, what's really being highlighted is that not only does God, you, and your masculine know this, but this being confirmed that every single person they had to encounter in order to meet you knew this as well, okay? Even if it's on a subconscious level. And this is why they say that this connection is not for the weak because it requires a deep level of honesty that your person was not ready for, okay? But it's showing up at this time in their lives because they're being authentic and real with themselves as it pertains to their heart space and what they had to experience in order to align with you. And they want you to know what's being revealed to them. But they're really, really hoping that you're in a place in your life, Divine Feminine, where you can be open-minded enough for them to really tell you what these experiences were like for them, okay? But I'm also getting that they are extremely curious about your experience as well. And this may also tie into some of the questions that they wanna ask you, okay? So they may wanna know if when you were with other masculine energies, could they sense your person? Did they know that you were already spoken for, okay? Did they feel that, you know, there was something out there or that you were created for something else? This is a very, this might be a little triggering as well, okay? But honestly, it feels like this is so mind-blowing to them, but it's also fascinating to them how this connection is so powerful that everyone who comes near it or everyone who somehow is connected in some way by way of, you know, past connections or, you know, friends or, or whoever, they can somehow feel the intensity of this, okay? I feel like there's something happening right now where your person is, is kind of being taken through their journey and things are coming to them. Certain isolated situations are coming to them where subconsciously they feel like people they align with, okay? Whether this be um, in love. For some of them, they could be passing people you know, strangers, this could be family members. It's almost like people had this idea of, of, of what their person would be like or what they were created for, or what type of love or experience they were created for. And people may have been commenting on this. These are things that went way over your person's head at one point. They were not even paying attention to it. <laughs> they were focused. Um, they could have been operating in their ego. This is someone who definitely has been um, on the fence about reconnecting with you because they don't know where you are right now, Divine Feminine. I'm picking up on this connection and this, this was not something easy because I'm getting that as it pertains to the spiritual awareness in this connection, you were far ahead of this masculine, okay? You may have come into this connection knowing that you know, something was very, very important. This was something, something you had to do with this person. You felt this pull. 
you know, you felt this really strong connection to them. They were receiving the signs as well. That's the crazy part because I'm getting clearly, your person was getting sent synchronicities. Your person was getting sent everything. And now it's almost as if it's coming back around. That's why it feels like the timeline is merging because maybe God is showing them things that has already been put in their faces before, but now they can identify it because they're beginning to tap more into this connection, okay? Or more into their heart space, which is leading them to see the truth about this connection and about you. Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is solar plexus chakra. Yeah. For, for this masculine here, this is all about power, okay? This is all about power and self-concept. For your person, there's a certain identity that they are attached to. And subconsciously, it's hard for them to accept anything or anyone that doesn't align with that. And the solar plexus chakra is a masculine dominant chakra, okay? It's all about confidence, power, and being able to stand in your truth. And they're realizing that you are a huge part of this. They're realizing that their truth is connected to you. And this moment may be bittersweet for them because honestly, they're realizing that they went through a lot to get to you. And there were so many things that happened on this journey that they overlooked when it came to you, Divine Feminine. But now they're wondering about your background and who you were in life and love before you embarked on this journey. There's definitely a timeline merge happening. And it seems like your person is meeting their old self or even older versions of themselves. And this type of divine interference only happens when your person has been building a lot of momentum on the mental plane and now things are beginning to show in the physical. But this is very real to them now even more so than before, okay? Because the universe is showing them why it never worked with anyone else. I feel like this is like a huge confirmation about you. And honestly, this is about who you are on every level, okay? So when your person would tell you that no one compares to you, this is something that they really mean. <laughs> Even if, you know, you felt as if their actions would not align with it. This is, this is all talking about subconscious programming, okay? And when you are a twin flame, there are certain codes that are literally embedded in your DNA where you will be wired, literally wired for your person. So you really do it for them, okay? I'm also getting something here about energy exchange, but this is speaking to the way that you feed this masculine, okay? Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and sexually. They're realizing that this is something that they need for their well-being. This is all about the transference of energy and how your masculine actually uses this energy, okay? Pointing to the solar plexus chakra because this is all about radiance. This is about going out into the world and, you know, navigating their lives and being assertive and, and being able to do things as the masculine energy. Um, you feed them in this way, okay? And I feel like all of this information is definitely becoming very clear to them at this time after going through this period of not really understanding the significance of your energy or really your presence in their life, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is learning from my mistakes. Yeah. Your person feels like everything up until this point was definitely a learning experience, okay? And it was set on their path in order for them to prepare for you, but they never saw it that way before. They even tried to maybe even conceal parts of their past from you in an attempt to hide who they were before they met you but they're definitely being guided to embrace this part of their journey and to integrate it fully. 
I'm also getting that the universe is tracking them down in this way to show them that they are not over this connection in the way they may think. It's almost as if this masculine received very clear signs that there was something better for them in love. But due to past contracts, it seemed impossible. And this divine guidance has come at a time when your masculine is looking back, but they're only looking back to move forward. And I'm also getting that this is something that you've been considering as well, Divine Feminine. I feel like this is someone that's been on your mind, someone that's been on your heart for a very, very long time. But there is this very hesitant energy when it comes to really understanding or really knowing if you want to reconnect with them, okay? So if you're wondering why this masculine wants to come back towards you, it's definitely because they have been experiencing this timeline shift where they're beginning to notice how every single thing in their life was synchronistic. But the most mind-blowing aspect of all of this is the fact that their connections, specifically their love connections, have been a huge indicator for them, okay? This is someone who feels like they have always been searching for you, but they didn't actually realize it was you, okay? This masculine made a lot of mistakes in the past, and a lot of that was tied to them not being honest about their needs. But they're being shown this in real time, and it's definitely reaffirming who you are and the role that you play in all of this divine feminine. I'm also getting that when things happen to them, they have this habit of asking themselves, what does divine feminine have to do with this, okay? It's almost as if they know that your energy is always present in some kind of way, especially in significant moments like this one. So every single time that they have a memory or they have a flashback or, you know, God is showing them something about you or their journey or their past, they immediately ask themselves, how is it connected to you? Because they know that it is, okay? Um, your person is definitely at a stage where they're being awakened to the power of true love because this is something that you can't fake, okay? You can't fake this on earth or in the spiritual realm. And that's because it's literally the highest state of being. I'm also getting that it took your, it may have taken your person a long time to forgive themselves for this, okay? Because honestly, Divine Feminine, this is someone that thought you would never show up. So for a long time, you were simply a figment of their imagination. Because from a higher perspective, when you are a twin flame, you come here literally searching for your counterpart. And what's crazy is that you don't even know who this person will be. You don't even know what they'll look like. But you just know that when you find them, every single fiber of your being will let you know that it's them, okay? And you will also know this because you always have the thought in the back of your mind, kind of asking yourself if something is missing. Are you in the right place, right? And it's almost as if your person is sitting back and thinking of literally all they had to go through to find you. Some of them even gave up and thought about settling, okay? They're processing a lot right now. But the most important thing that's being shown to them and confirmed to them right now is that they loved you before they even spoke to you, looked you in your eyes, or even touched you, okay? And this is why twin flames can manifest in many forms. There can be age gaps. There could be difference in cultures, location, race, gender. None of that matters. This is a higher manifestation of energy. And you come here to create divine balance for yourselves and for the planet. Okay? This is also highlighting that... There's a specific manifestation process that happens with all twin flame connections. That's why they usually come into your life at such an auspicious time. They come to really forge a new path and to initiate a change in your life at the highest, highest level. But this can only happen if you and your person allow it, okay? Let's get the last message here. Yeah, I feel like this reading is extremely specific, okay? 
because I'm picking up on a connection that both of you maybe felt like giving up. I feel like this is something that you both have let go. You both have let go, but you have been receiving signs about your person. They may have even been living on autopilot for a while, just totally tuned out, just totally in, in the 3D, not paying attention to anything spiritual, you know, no signs, no synchronicities, just total tunnel vision, okay? And a lot of times they have to do this to keep their energy focused because your energy is much too powerful, much too intense to divine feminine, and they can kind of get lost in that. So I feel like your person had really kind of zoned out or tuned themselves out of this connection for a while. Maybe you did too. And the universe has been sending you a lot of signs. This is probably alerting you of what your person is going through, okay? Especially if you have an extremely powerful energetic bond, then you definitely may have been picking up on a lot of what it is that they are experiencing. And this is just simply a confirmation for you on that, okay? So the last message that we have here is, this is new to me. Yeah. You may notice, okay, if you do decide to reconnect with this masculine energy, you may definitely notice a difference about your person the next time you come in contact with them. If this is something that you're open to. Because I'm getting that for a long time, it felt like you were on two totally different pages at one time. But once this merging process is over, they this person will never be the same again, okay? There were a lot of unanswered questions that had this masculine very, very confused. So initially, when this energy began to show itself, it may have scared them simply because of the way that things were being shown to them. This is energetically and in the physical. This is someone that also is well aware that you are more spiritually advanced than them. So there may be some things that you went through divine feminine or things that you understand from a spiritual perspective that just went way over your person's head, okay? And now they're paying attention to everything. It's like an entirely new reality while navigating this journey. And they definitely want to speak to you about stuff. I feel like this may be the first big thing that they've experienced in this connection, but there will definitely be more. And they kind of want to have that open communication with you. And that's why they wonder where you are right now on your journey. You know, are you in a place to be open-minded? Are you in a place to consider, you know, their offer when they come to you, you know, wanting to talk, wanting to meet up? wanting to really exchange what it is that you both have been experiencing in your personal lives here, okay? It's almost as if the more that they open themselves up to this new reality, the more that God reveals to them about you and about this connection. And it's shocking to them that they even feel comfortable wanting to share this part of themselves with someone because this is a part of their lives that they would normally have to hide. And, and act as if it never happened, okay? When it comes to sharing certain experiences and, and relationships and, you know, stuff like that. And this is something that your person really, really appreciates and loves about you, that they can be open and expressive. Your energy is coming through as someone who is very non-judgmental, okay? You actually see them as a human being. And th that's beautiful because, you know, when, when you're dealing with matters of the heart, sometimes people can get extremely possessive and so attached to their partner in love that they forget that they have their own journey and their own lessons that they have to learn in order to become who they truly are. And nine times out of 10, our lessons come in the form of other people. We're literally here to learn ourselves through relationships, right? This is what your person is realizing as well. That had it not been for literally every single person that came before you, that they wouldn't be the person that they are today. And if they're being totally honest, it's like, it, I keep coming back to this, but they literally feel like they were always searching for you in some way. And they wonder if you feel the same way as well. But this is definitely a new concept for them, but it makes them feel very, very powerful 
This is someone who is standing in their powerful masculine energy. It really gives them a sense of pride to be this free and to feel this deeply in this connection with you, okay? So I definitely feel like the next time you encounter your person, you will notice a slight shift in the way that they express themselves to you. And this may very well open up another level of trust and deeper intimacy for the both of you, okay? But yeah, they, they really, really hope, their energy is coming through a little hesitant because they really, really hope that you are open to this divine feminine. So I don't know what happened in the past. Um, there could have been some type of ending. There could be a huge barrier. I'm also even picking up that this may be a connection where you just energetically vow to kind of go your separate ways because of the difference of energies, because of where you were spiritually and where your person was spiritually. And it's almost like you didn't come to their level. You continue to live your life. You continue to be great. You continue to evolve and heal, you know, and go out and be yourself and live your life. And this person is kind of like they're, they're rising up to your level, okay? They're coming to meet you where you are. And that's why they're coming a little bit hesitant because they're wondering, like, wow, is Divine Feminine even in a place to accept me because you've always been accepting. So maybe they're just wondering if, if you're still in that place, okay? Because they definitely want a fresh start with you, okay? Now that they have this newfound clarity about you and your connection, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.